that opening reaction video is popping up because the opening is so fucking good. God bless you, Sir Gregor, for doing that. Okay, so besides, we're getting into another arc, right? Divine Visionary Selection arc. It should be pretty hype. So many new characters of all of them. I don't like the Sand guy because he's like a traditionalist who keeps fucking... You know, saying rules are rules, but the blonde dude that has Kuna's voice actor, he's actually sick because he's like, oh, you can do whatever you want. Totally different sides of the spectrum, but all divine visionaries. Let's begin today's reaction. Dumbledore. Man, these guys are actually really tall. Nash is pretty tall too, but goddamn. ルール。この少年に。ブー。ブー。しばし彼に言うよ、与えて。お。イノセント0が。バルド。バルド。初めてのことじゃ。彼は、イノセントの力となる可能。And the innocent zero is specifically after match 2, right? And we know that match is an orphan that just got dropped out of nowhere and then the dad just picked him up. So like there is some ties in innocent zero match is match a fucking test tube baby. What's going on here? You know, this is kind of the same as Dumbledore always bailing out Gryffindor, always giving them favoritism, right? Doesn't matter if they're doing everything right by the textbook. If they fuck up, Dumbledore's like, it's all right. Oh my. What did you just say? Wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> the person that's been like looking out for him since season one, episode one, since the fucking beginning, he's been vouching for him, protecting him. And Match is like, huh? I guess the hit match is kind of important, huh? <laughs> I mean, it fits in with this character, but Pro didn't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Only want to go toe to toe against Innocent Zero in his youth. So Innocent Zero has been an organization for a long time. Okay. Wait, wait. And the only one that I, the next top dog of the world. So it's the power ranking in this world is Wahlberg, and then him, or at least in this academy. Wait, what? Okay. We saw his powers for a brief moment in like episode one, I think. Or two. Fuck you, I hate this guy, dude. This boomer of traditional's mindset pisses me off. I don't know why I thought that Wahlberg might have been hiding his receding hairline, but I can't call him bald. But I think he's about to bow, right? Watch this. Damn! The strongest is showing respect right now by bowing. Wow. But please do it for me. I mean, if Mr. Wahlberg is bowing like this, they have to listen. Right. If you don't have magic, you just get culled from this world. Alright, bro's, bro's yapping for a little bit too long. Okay, I get it. Great speech. I'm just a little bit upset he's not bald. Also interesting, he's only a one-liner? Maybe this beard is hiding something. No, you can never tell in this show what liner some people are because maybe underneath his beard, he has like three separate fucking lines showing up. I don't know, man. Damn. Even Rain is. Shit. I mean, we protect his little brother, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. About that. It was so cute. She's actually so cute for no reason. <laughs> I feel like we should just duel. We should just fight and prove his innocence. Fake his death then. Fuck this guy in particular. Dude, duel him. 1v1 him right now. Oh. Bald. Bald. But what if it's not? What if the magical power is not a special gift from God? Because I feel like they're getting really bent on and power tripping about how we're the chosen ones we have magic, but we don't really know the origins of how magic was formed, right? So like, 
I don't know. Maybe this is all backwards, and it'd be really ironic in the end game when they realize, oh, we weren't that special after all. True? I just realized they're calling him lack magic. It's a fucking slur, like muggle. Okay. Baldi that was pushing pretty hard last episode is suddenly in our favor. What's the sand guy say? No. Rules are rules. No. Alright. Alright, what is it? Under supervision. Okay. That's fucking easy, right? Let's do a spar one on one duel right now with the sand guy. He can prove that for sure. Yo, I can't wait for him to show him his skills. Okay. Unfazed. Oh. Look at this declaration. Oh, they're backing off. Oh! Yo, he's doing something hype! Okay. I mean, what else would he use? What the fuck? Innocent Zero headquarters, right? Alright, the dude has red eyes. That was a really cool declaration from MASH, though. Our friends are... Did I miss that? Ryo, I think you're right. Let me, let, let me replay this for the hypeness. I just realized the absurdity of what he just said. Let me replay this. Right? Really hype scene? Fucking slams the ground down. What did blood say? I will beat Innocent Gyro. <laughs> so, I mean, he always fucks shit up like this, right? He never remembers names. He's always fucking shit up because he's a little slow in the head. But this is a classic match theme. I didn't even cast this. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> innocent Pedal. And then this is Innocent Zero Headquarters. Okay. Can't really tell much other than he got the red eyes. That's <laughs> This season, do you think our friend here is gonna fight? Rainy's brother? He has to, right? Yeah. Muscle magic. Okay, he's pretty cool with it. Yo, casual clothing. Nice armor. What? What is he wearing? Uh oh, Mash is also wearing. <laughs> Bro's doing ab works, but I think this is the first time we've seen him doing a workout in the anime, right? In the in the first and second episode, right? It was like um the workout scenes were some of the funniest, like most ridiculous scenes, but finally we get it right. He's doing ab workouts. So you wore your workout outfit every time. It's always such chaos with Mash and his friend. It's just a bunch of idiots doing things, right? And then Lance is usually the one like babysitting them. Even the pedestrian is like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, Lance, finally someone normal. But then you realize that he's not really normal. Wait, wait, wait. How is she winking and talking? Magic. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, <laughs> what the, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, look at him throw it back. Holy shit, the back shots. And don't forget, Lemon is also just as weird. Yo, everyone, look, look at this though. Our, our squad may be a bunch of fucking freaks, but I mean, look at the fit, right? They all look pretty good right now. What the? Are it carnival games? Carnival games. Okay. So instead of shooting darts or something, you know, you make a sneeze, okay? Mash will probably grab the snot and fucking. Aim it correctly, right? How is he gonna do it? No, he will. He will. Not that way. He should be fine. Thought's always bleeding. 
Right in the forehead? <laughs> Yo, what are we doing right now? What the fuck are we doing right now? We're just fucking around. The slice of light moment. New weapon. Okay. New wand. Lance is technically going for it too, right? So he's our rival for that. Only one king has selected? Is that true? <laughs> Does he actually think that he can still compete with Mesh? Well, technically, in the last arc, right before we, we did one of the bigger fights, there was like um, the revelation of a, a new type of magic, right? So depending on how many lines you have, you can unlock like seconds, right? So I, he used that, right? So he didn't use it on Mesh, but I feel like... I don't know. I guess this is the author's way of like keeping the rivalry or like the power scheme a little bit close, but I just don't think, you know, he can really fight MASH in the same level still. Oh my, oh my ears. Ah, stop. All right, wand shop. Doesn't like the wand choose you or something? Isn't that the way in Harry Potter? It's like, oh, the wand chooses the owner. Does MASH need a new wand too? <laughs> The one chose me! Oh, wow! <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> Wowie. Okay, so it's pretty much a samurai sword for a samurai. It's fucking meaningless if this guy doesn't fucking fight, though. He hasn't done shit yet. Lance just ignores. Damn, look at the amount of aura around him. Oh, there it is! Looks cool. Why is it impressive? <gasps> Rare one even amongst double liners! Hmm. How can we do this? Maybe in order to play the fool here and act like we're still using magic, he'll like act like he's charging, but then accidentally like stomp the ground and make all the wands fall on him, right? That's like a mash thing that could happen, right? I don't, I don't know. Can he do something dumb like that? Or just like suck or like, you know, inhale and then the wand just comes to him? What does he do? Where, where's, the, where's the aura, bro? Where? Is that a wand? It's a metal. What, what the fuck is that? Is this some Excalibur shit? Like you gotta fucking the only the chosen one can fucking you know lift the sword out of the out of out of the tomb. But like, so you just gonna pick it up, right? You just gonna pick it up. Oh, well, he'll he'll lift it for sure. <laughs> Elf Water Springs. What? Elf Water Springs, money. Until now. Yep, past millennium, never uh, until now, though. There we go. Our friend Grabari knows the fucking situation, right? They're like, okay, this is gonna happen. And. Easy. Here, have some elf water. What does elf water even mean? Surely it's not bath water used by elves, right? Alright, well now he can use this like water to like make better ones too, yeah? Wait, Lance didn't buy it? Who the fuck is the god? Is that the Adler captain? The one with the harem? The one that's like, uh, life is a cactus. What does he say? Life is a cactus. I don't know, he has a saying, I, but he was in like the Quidditch episode, right? It is <laughs> not a cactus. Be a bamboo, that's right, that's right. He only says, be a bamboo, not cactus. Alright, more, more slice of life moments, okay. It feels a bit like filler right now, right? But I think this is like the calm before the storm. Yeah. Mash's new wand though. What does it do? It's just a metal stick. Aww. That's nice, right? 
Bro, Mr. Bamboo shorts are so fucking short. Holy fuck. All freaks, but I love them. Yeah, the slice of ice is kind of fun, right? It's pretty chill. Okay. So selection exam first before... You know, the innocent zero, but I bet they would interfere. But we don't have a home because that Bradley guy destroyed it. And now Bradley and dad is just like chilling together somewhere. Okay. He saw that flashback? How the fuck did he... Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, they're talking about MASH. Okay. Who is Sand guy talking to? Who is, is, the, is the innocent zero or, or what is this? What is this guy? But he's still going behind the scenes to prevent Mash from participating. Yo, this, this, oh. Orca Dorm, okay, so it's not innocent zero. I thought he might have been colluding with them, but god damn, that temper looks good. But holy shit, okay, look at his signs. It's technically two lines right cuz he's got a musical note on 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 on, on his like right eye right or our left but this is two lines right yeah i think it's two lines okay margaret oh he's a little saucy okay okay where do i remember this voice actor guys i swear to god there's a voice actor that always plays you know kind of zesty little saucy voice like this you know characters like this right Oh. Oh. Yo, why is he doing that with the temper? Oh, oh. Yo. Oh. The way he was fucking moving the temper in the sauce, the fucking sound that it was making, then you're gonna fucking drip this fucking white cream and you're gonna say stimulation. Uh huh. Easy. It wasn't even hard. Is this deal? <laughs> well, it's because he can only do it without magic. <laughs> Bro, just gonna leave without eating the tempura that he just fucking bathed in? Okay. Hey, <laughs> and his followers also have like music notes for the line, so I guess their powers are like music related. Oh, he's about to play the piano. Moonlight Sonata <laughs> by Sid Kagano or Beethoven. Go. That's not it. All right, bro's cooking though. For some reason, he started to play the piano out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty good, yeah? But uh, what, what is he doing? His followers are a little sweating. Like, what's going on? What, what are we doing? Um... What the Huh? <laughs> so even his followers are creeped out. What the fuck was that? He just... He heard Mash was like, doesn't use magic. Then he's like, oh, drops his tempera. Starts playing fucking piano. Then says spring is here. <laughs> like, oh, isn't spring the time for romance, love? The springtime of youth? And after hearing about Mash's, like, perhaps potential of beating Lang's Dorm's Abba without magic, made him down bad. So he got so excited, he played piano because he wants to get with Mash? Is that what they're implying here? I think so, right? I think so. Dad, please, what, what is this angle? What, okay. What the f- Dad, come on, Dad, what the f- Brad's still here, okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. The secret's not out yet. Maybe it is. Match is friends. That's right, Match is friends. And they're all freaks, don't worry, Dad. Oh, my son has friends. Oh, we're brothers in arm, what? Right. Cap. Oh, he's so proud. Father-in-law. The lemon come out fucking swinging. She doesn't miss a beat when it comes to trying to get fucking married into Mash's family. <laughs> Future wife! Yo, the way that she's saying this has some sinister look in her eye. Look at the way that she's shaded. She's kind of talking in like a dark tone too. She's very serious about this. Yeah, yeah. 
dot getting cocked as usual. Wow, you even brought gifts for the home? Okay. Oh? Nobody wants that merch. That's, that's so weird. I, I don't think Lance understands how it makes us look if we're repping his like sister's merch. Because like it's his sister, so it doesn't look as bad. Like it's a siscon, so it's kind of creepy. But like if we're fucking repping merch of a fucking lolly, it doesn't look good for us, you know? Just his friends hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, they're all idiots, don't worry. And we got one straight man. Yeah, because you have to hide him because, you know, no magic. That's a lot of cream puffs. Lance looks somehow disgusted at the cream puff pile. Don't jinx it, Dad. Why would you say that? Why would you say that before getting into a serious arc, Dad? Stop jinxing it! Oh! Margaret. Oh, we're getting right into it? Oh, the episode's about to end, though. Okay, so he was down bad. He's like, ooh, he's strong. Okay. Mash bonded. Whoa, what's Rainus? Yo, what's a sword? Rain is here? Why? The fuck? This is new. So he's playing bodyguard. I see. Uh, Wahlberg must have ordered him to look for over him. Can you compete with the sword cane though? No, the narrator is saying the outro. It's about the end. We're still fucking around. Okay. Maybe we'll never know. Maybe Rainus will just clear it. Today's episode was a bit of a setup, right? I mean, the last episode, they kind of do this, right? The first episode when we're back, boom, recap, kind of introduce you to different elements, hype you up. And then the second episode, kind of just set up because we're doing all these like slice of life moments. Why? Because whenever before we get into a serious arc, it's good to have like really chill, wholesome slice of life moments to remind you that when the dire moments come, he'll think about all the friendships and the happy memories we had. This is like a common pattern, right? So more of like a little setup. Now we do have some introduction of new characters. Margaret's just a little bit zesty. He's really down both for mass because of the power, but Rainus is here, right? So if Margaret can fend off against the sword cane, that's going to be very impressive. It is 3v1, but that's a divine visionary. So this is a good litmus test to see exactly how strong is Margaret to see, you know, does he matter or not? Probably in the long grand scheme of things he won't matter and i hope if anything he like becomes a friend you know it, I, I feel like he might just be introduced as like a villain type right now but ends up really loving match and we somehow get like an unsuspecting friend like that i think that would be a good way to go with the story but before we get into the innocent zero stuff we got to do the divine selection exam arc and when will that happen hopefully in about an episode or two but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care